Hey friends, Tux here. I cannot believe BlizzCon season is before us once again, and of course there's all sorts of rumor and speculation about what band will be playing BlizzCon, so this video is devoted to what band will be there. This is always a topic of conversation, and of course some people will say, oh, I don't go to BlizzCon to see a band, blah, blah, blah. but you know what? It's a great way to end the celebration, and if nothing else, it gives credibility to Blizzard and BlizzCon because other cons don't have some huge AAA band ending it, you know? It's like, what if you had this huge band like Metallica play your, like, Sweet 16 or your high school prom or something? It really makes it super duper special having something big happen at the end. And it also does happen to sell pay-per-view tickets, so that's something else to consider. Now, there's all sorts of bands and reasons why bands may play it or don't play it or whatever, but I'm a realist here. I'm also an analyst, and there's things I look at in an analyst kind of way about what are the logistics of bringing certain bands to BlizzCon, okay? So on the Facebook page, there's a lot of speculation about what band it could be, and it could really be almost any band at this point, but I'm going to talk about some of the big ones that were listed, okay? First off, um, the top pick by a lot of people at the time of making this video was a huge orchestra playing Blizzard music. And I'll be honest with you, that is not a huge way of ending it for a lot of people, okay? Would it be cool for some? Sure. Would it sell a lot of pay-per-view tickets? No, it wouldn't, okay? You couldn't quite get the whole experience at home. And quite honestly, most people, deep down in their hearts, would rather see a AAA band. They'd rather see a Metallica. They'd rather see a Muse, some AAA band, than just hearing orchestra music of Blizzard music, okay? And of course, we love the music from Blizzard. They do a great job. They do an amazing job of making great music for the games. But that doesn't end the whole celebration does it end the pay-per-view with a big fireworks explosions, the big finale, like a huge band would. So as far as bands go, last year's BlizzCon had a music festival, which is kind of mixed reviews. I'll be honest with you, when I loved, I loved music the year before, and I loved Weird Al even the year before that. But when they had the three different bands going, it was a little kind of like divided. Like all of them were just kind of like lukewarm, in my opinion, you know, I'll be honest. And, um, you know, it was kind of like, well, we could see this, we could see that. And we honestly end up really not watching any of them, you know, uh, a little walking around at the end, that kind of thing, and you know, that's that's okay, but it really did leave the Blizzard, uh, BlizzCon ending just without the same huge, like, excitement of Muse the year before. So of the actual bands, not including orchestra music, one of the top selected picks from people on Facebook were System of the Down, okay? And this band could do it, it's possible. Um, they are having a tour in the USA, okay? And the problem though is that the tour ends, as far as it currently ends, in Chicago on May, I wanna say it's May 17th, I have to double check, it's May. And the problem about that is the fact that so far from November, you know, and it's not like Blizzard couldn't just have them come and play, you know, in November, it is possible. But you know, from a selling standpoint, if the band is already in California, it goes a long way to making it cost effective to have a show at BlizzCon because they're already there. Their lights are already rented. You know, the tour is already set up. It's a lot easier for a tour manager to have a huge band play if they're already in California or someplace close. Okay. Um, next up is Imagine Dragons and that band definitely has a very distinct possibility. Okay. Um, right now they're touring Italy and they will be going to the U.S. and they'll actually be in Austin, Texas in November. So it is a possibility that it's not out of the question that maybe somehow they might work that into BlizzCon. Um, that was a band which was kind of a forerunner. I had a video of last year too, and they were mentioned then too. Is it definitely a possibility that it could have been Imagine Dragons? And I want to say there was rumor about them maybe even the year before. Okay, so maybe a third time's the charm, and maybe Imagine Dragons will be the band. Um, it's possible. Okay, moving on along, people said Queen. How about Queen playing BlizzCon? Now Queen would definitely have kind of a huge impact as far as being a big name you know that'd be the same thing as having almost like a Metallica or a Guns N' Roses or some other kind of you know classic big name band and maybe even a little more so because they're actually Queen you know it's a huge classic rock band you know um, I think in some ways having some other big bands of you know the classic era like at one time you know people were mentioning Guns N' Roses possibility and of course that is a little bit later than Queen you know um, one time people were mentioning Rolling Stones okay that goes back, you know, and that would be very expensive, but um, the, it kind of is along those lines, and I think that'd be an interesting way to sell the pay-per-view. Do I think will happen? Not really, okay, and largely because of when the tour
tour actually ends. And also, because I'll be honest with you, I don't believe these guys are in the United States all year round, okay? Um, I believe they have homes outside the U.S., and I don't think they're going to stick around um, that long to be in the United States. Could they fly here? Sure, it's possible, but it does add extra expense as far as renting things and actually just, you know, setting the show up and getting the guys here. So it's possible, but not as likely as if they were actually somewhere close by, okay? Next up, um, BMTH, um, that's Bring Me the Horizon, um, they are touring, okay? And they will be in Baltimore, 11.5, I mean, 10-5, they're playing Philly, 8-5, they're playing Milwaukee. Um, they have a weird tour schedule. It's kind of like they do one show a month right around the 5th, okay? Which is kind of weird, you know? Like, um, they definitely someone who could, could play it. I would say this is a possibility. Um, if anything, it seems like the band doesn't have a whole lot of dates between these dates. So that is kind of weird. Um, I don't know if they have the draw power of like Imagine Dragons, you know, or bigger names like Queen or something. Um, but I'd say it is possible, but not super likely. Now, one band which has been mentioned so many times, like I think this would kind of fit. And in fact, I've been kind of thinking that Blizzard should do some kind of J-pop or something for a while now, because, you know, Blizzard, it is a international event. You do have a lot of StarCraft players, not necessarily from the US, you know, and it would be kind of cool to have some kind of J-pop or something. And Baby Metal, of course, is a name which a lot of people in the States know. It would look good on a pay-per-view, and it's something which a lot of people would probably like to see, but maybe wouldn't want to pay for, you know? So I think it's the type of thing which people would stick around for and might be a great way to end it. In fact, you know BlizzCon kind of leans towards metal when it comes to their, you know, closing ceremony. Looking back on, you know, Metallica and Ozzy and, you know, even like Foo Fighters, like they tend to lean to that hard rock metal edge. So it is possible that maybe that would be the best mix to have something j poppy and also kind of medley, you know? And maybe Maybe they could even play some like you know some u.s tunes or do something special um to make the people who are not familiar with them feel extra comfortable and enjoying it but um i think it'd be a good pick you know and a theme keeps coming up it looks like imagine dragons it keeps coming up i'd say it's a distinct possibility okay moving on along i'm gonna throw one wild card in here um 311 has come up a few times and 311 is a band which is um touring till august and it is possible. It's not out of the question that it could actually make it to LA and play BlizzCon. Um, not real expensive like they could probably get there pretty cheaply so that is definitely a distinct possibility um, Tool is a name that keeps coming up Tool is a band which I think a lot of people would like to see I don't know if they quite have the selling power of some like a Guns N' Roses or something if you're talking about you know selling pay-per-view tickets um, you know if there is such a thing is a band that would push it I don't think Tool would sell it as much as some of the other bigger name bands but I think people would love Tool and of course they do rock super hard and they put on a great show and I think a tour would probably make a lot of new fans by playing it. I'm just not sure if it would sell pay-per-view tickets the same way other bands might, okay? Um, a day to remember, touring the U.S., yes. Um, they're, in, they're in San Bernardino in October. Um, it is a possibility. Um, I don't know if the band is known quite as much, so I don't know if that would appeal to as many people. Um, but, of course, they are popular. Okay, don't get me wrong, they are popular. And it is a, distinctly a possibility they could be the one. Uh, some people were saying Gorillaz. Now, last year, Gorillaz was mentioned a lot, a lot, okay? And I honestly thought Gorillaz was a distinct possibility because of where they were touring and that kind of thing. And, of course, you know, Blizz, Blizzard went the festival route, okay? And Gorillaz did not play. Um, this year, though, Gorillaz, unfortunately, is pretty unlikely. They're not really touring. It doesn't mean they couldn't do it, but they're also not supporting an album. So that's another thing to look at is, is the band supporting product, you know? And right now, Gorillaz, their album came out um, last year, I guess, and they're doing the tour then. And now they're not actually touring as far as I can see. Um, so probably not, okay? And then finally, I'll mention Iron Maiden. Um, it's possible. Um, they are doing some tours. They are actually in the U.S. until September, okay? So possible. But then they go to Mexico, and then they go to uh, Chile and Brazil in October. So could they fly back? Sure. But again, it would be kind of a stretch. So I kind of think Iron Maiden's not it, okay? Um, all in all, like, it's, it's anyone's guess. I would really say if I had to pick one band, I'd say Imagine Dragons is a distinct possibility. If they want something more classic rocky, you know, Queen is a distinct possibility. If they really want something not listed here, um, Guns N' Roses is headlining a lot of festivals right now. And that is a name brand that has a lot of recognition. And a lot of people would probably want to see that, you know. So I think that's 
actually very possible, and I think that would probably sell tickets too. Um, for me, you know, I would love to see Muse come back, quite honestly, but the Simulation Theory Tour has been out for a while now, and Blizzard have never brought back a band that they've had in the past, so that's very unlikely. Um, who do you think it will be? Put a comment down below or shoot me an email at tuxtoys at gmail.com. I'm curious to see who you pick for the band, and of course I'm really curious who it will be. I mean, all in all, Blizzard, if you're watching this, I, I personally, personally, hope it's not an orchestra playing Blizzard music. I know some people say they like that. You've done that in the past, so you've had video games live, you know, but I don't think that will sell pay-per-view tickets in the same way, and I don't think it will end, more importantly, I don't think it will end BlizzCon in a huge, like, big way that leaves a lasting impression with people the same way a huge AAA band would, okay? Again, we're going back to, wouldn't it be amazing if some huge band played your high school prom or played your you know, Sweet 16 or played your house party or something like, it really kind of makes us feel credible as gamers when we have some huge band like Muse or Megadeth or even like Ozzy come and play the end of BlizzCon. It really ends it with a bang, okay? So that's my two cents. Um, I'm really curious what comes up and I'm really curious about BlizzCon as a whole this year because again, last year there was like, you know, not narrow no big, big box set announcements, you know? So this year BlizzCon looks to be amazing. I cannot wait to see all the announcements. I think it's going to be a home run. I think they're going to have announcements in pretty much every game. It's going to be huge, okay? Alright, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.